Right, so we've just arrived at sunny Austin, and I say sunny Austin because look at the blackness. This is coming now. <laughs> Here with Lee and Mickey in the background. There's Lee. There's there's Mickey. We're going to be fishing here on this nice bit of flat mud. Hopefully get some big place. There's been some nice ones caught. So just hope that rain is right off. Right, so let's go through what we're using today. We're using a little Pacific bait caster. Love that reel. Absolutely amazing, especially with a bit of braid on. It's got 15 pound mono on at the moment. But I do prefer it with braid. My Gruvel Teflon Surf 1450, which I broke last summer, had fixed, and then it's broke again. So as you can see, I've used my trusty electrical zip ties to fix the problem. I love this rod. Nice and soft, really nice Conti rod. And then here on the other side, we have the Mitchell Trax MX. Another beautiful rod, turn it there. I love this rod as well, to be fair. Caught quite a few fish on it this year. So here's the rig I'm using today. It's a two up, one down. Main rig body is 30 pound fluorocarbon. The snood lengths are about 12 inches and they are 15 pound fluorocarbon with a size four hook on the end. Right, so we've got both rods out. So while we're waiting to catch a fish, I just thought I'd go through my bait. So here we have old black lug. Now, it stinks and sticky. Cracking bait for the place, they love that. Here's another one that I've just left out. Look how sticky that one is. Different methods of prepping your blacks. So there's that one. This stuff is fresh frozen. So you can see the difference. So this is basically frozen as soon as it's been pumped. And that is as fresh as they come from a frozen point of view. The tipping and if there's any rays about. By the way, that's mackerel in case you didn't know, because you can't read it. Bluey. Razor fish meat. Some fresh crab. Now these aren't normal crab, these are peeler crab. So if you have a little look. See there, that's the meat inside. As you peel it, and that's what we use the meat. So we pop the back off, and then nice soft meat inside. But they're not always like this, only when they peel. Oh, right, we are close to the flood. So now I'm going to put on a big bait. So I've got my two little ones out fishing for the place. And I'm going to do my big bait, so I'm going to be putting blueies on. So I'll show you my go-to rig, which I use for the rays. So I'm going to be using an up and over. So those who are new to fishing, I'll show you what that is. Uh, those who aren't new to fishing and know exactly what one is, feel free to skip. So this is an up and over. And basically the idea of this is, is so your lead locks in. Your main line's attached to this. And then you have your bait on your trace, which is technically, hopefully, pinned to the floor. Another me method people use are a pulley panel, um, which I'll show you that. And basically, that allows the lead to stay fixed and the fish to run off with your bait, hit the bead, and get hooked. I personally prefer this because it pins to the floor like this rig. So, how it works is you have a clip down there, your, your trace comes up on to your clip down like that now you will have bait on that obviously but the idea is as it casts hits the water that flicks off and then you've got your bait flipping around in the water on a nice long trace we'll beat that off now cut head off cut the tail off that's your panel wrap that round three times Through. Trusty elastic. So there's your bait there. And you'll notice 
that the barber me hook is sticking out there and the barber me hook is sticking out there you've always got to have your hook showing so there you go that'll be clipped down now the whole point of this is so all your weight is by your lead so your bait everything's by your lead easy to cast you can get a really nice distance on it and then again as it hits the floor all the water pop that'll pop off there and there we have it i'll split around Ooh, if I don't fall, that is. Traipsing over the mud. Oh, to see the Duffmeister with a 38 centimetre place. It's a nice, nice place, that, mate. Nice. Here we go. At least Duffy hasn't blanked. Hey, it's nice, that. Yeah, it's a lovely place. Off she goes. Could walk with a bit of charisma. Said you could walk with a bit of charisma. <laughs> My money don't jiggle, jiggle. It folds. I like to see you wiggle, wiggle. For sure, it makes me want to dribble, dribble. You know, right in my feet. It is. I reckon, there's a, I reckon there's a fish on that. Do I or don't I? Oh, come on. Do I or don't I? What do we do? Why are you filming as well? Here's the rain. Oh, shit. oh please. Please, people. Oh, Probably not. Something on it like, it might be a jam rack. I've, I've had two. I'm, un un I'm unlucky, I haven't had one. You've had a fish though. <laughs> I'd rather have a fish than a jammy. Something on that, is there? I think there might be, yeah. Looks like. It's not really doing anything. I don't need to do anything until you get, get close and then you dive. There's gotta be something on this. Yeah, there it is. Here she comes. Oh, have I go now? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> Wee! Placey boy. There we go. So I'm not a blanker. See what I did there? Play on words. You did. Oh, it's very small. Lee, do you wanna, you wanna see what a fish looks like, mate? Ah. <laughs> Ah, uh, banter. Where's the rain? He's a fatty, him. He's a fat. How fat he is. He's been eating well here, man. <laughs> what is he? Five. Five bearded. Yeah, beast. Look <laughs> <laughs> at the size of his gut. What's he been eating? <laughs> Place. Yeah. <laughs> The thing I'm not catching, and he's off straight into the rocks. All the minnows will come on now. Look how gorgeous this is! It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, so Moston, first time I've been, won't be the last time to be fair. I quite liked it, but muddy, horrible, ow, rocks tripping everywhere. So, if you do come here, make sure you wear some studded wellies. Or sudden waders. I wouldn't recommend coming on your own if it's your first time in case you get stuck in the mud. Uh, 
the place I had was on Bluey. Missed a massive bite on Bluey. Again, could have been a big place. Uh, lost the ray on the edge. Again on Bluey. So all my all my uh, undertakings have been Bluey related. So yeah, don't really know what to say to that. Well, I'll do. Bring Bluey if you're coming here. But in a nutshell, nice place. Especially when it's like that. We're going to go fishing and get a sunset like that. It's fantastic. Well, it's a winner for me anyway.